I think Ding likes you. Here, Everyone. Kitty. Everyone! We're trying to have a conversation here. Perfect. Shut your so, mouth. Your 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 Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't yeah. last five minutes. Here's some mitts. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone, to live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. The fog condensers, most especially, wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. What's a fog condenser? The condensers are a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellows got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Yeah. I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. Clever with words, are you? I can get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than Meyer lurks out there. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me, then. You want a bite? Either Mitch or I can take your order. Katie is above the fog line on the mountain. It's a bit of a hike. I'm gonna take this for the road. Tastes foul as sin. But it'll help. Mainlanders don't we last long on the island. Track. Old mountain trail is what we're doing. The fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the Commonwealth. Mainlanders think a dose of Bradaway is all you need. <laughs> Tracks. Mm, fresh ones. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to live. There is something nearby. Identity unknown. scrap. Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper far harborman out of you. <laughs> See, the fog can do a number on you. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with, but now... There's... Found you! Let's count the ammo and see what's left. 
Here's the mountain trail. We stick to this and we'll make it to Acadia. Game trails crisscross the road. So don't be surprised if we got local wildlife to deal with. <laughs> we grow everything extra mean on the island. <sighs> Still got a ways to go. eventually rolled back. People resettled, but they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. We ain't alone here. fondness for fresh water. A small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good thing you don't see too many of them. One more soul to the damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two? Who's she? One of them children of Adam preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures, and instead seek the only true master of this land. You do know you're crazy, right? Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. Up ahead, the air is clean. No fog. The gate is not too far now. Arrived. 
Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You saying you want me to stick around and watch your back? I can handle things from here. Good luck in there. And I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. There's no name. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. What are you? I told you. I'm the old synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling, but I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here and I'll try to help you. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question, and the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <sighs> well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first... kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but... Feelings, that's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation, they all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. I'm not a synth. End of discussion. I understand. I won't pry any further. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. 
Kasumi is usually working down below, whenever you wish to see her. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss before you go? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No programmed task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? You should know. The Institute has been destroyed. What? It's... over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery? But that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? I'm part of a group that helps since. The railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost... I know how frightening it is. The risk of capture. But sacrificing what you are... Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? I hadn't thought about it like that. I'm sorry. So am I. Your heart is in the right place. And it's unfair of me to judge, while I enjoy relative safety from so far away. Was there anything else I can do for you? So everyone here in Acadia... Is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. I was having a hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the Atom Lunatics. They're nothing you need to be concerned about. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. Relax. All will be fine. I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... you're a what? You came all this way... for me? Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Kasumi, listen to me. You're not a synth. Believe me, I've thought about that. How you can never really know? But it just answers so many questions. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time? Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> Kasumi, I think you're just confused. Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's part of life. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. <sighs> Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. 
I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. All right. I'm listening. Okay. Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I've found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but... The security on it is crazy. Step aside and let the master hacker show you how it's done. If you're sure. Good luck. Once you have something, let me know. Ugh, circuitry is completely fried. Got it. We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island, the same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's going to keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight, but at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt. Giving the children my old home, 
allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have. But I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught, or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Excuse me. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics, and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. So, what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth, and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. All right, I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us. A synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Excuse me. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. 
Dima's vision is worth fighting for. You're right. It is a good cause. Synths definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Demon knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Seems like he's lucky to have you helping. Thank you. That's very kind. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here, for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here, so does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? The island is dangerous, after all, but I really could use the spare parts. So, will you find them? Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Dima. Feel free to say whatever is on your mind. I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the Children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you... You're new to the island. What are you planning, Dima? Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor? The Children of Adam? Or my memories? You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock. And a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent and their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. The children of Adam on this island, you were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home. A place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone. And his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit, 
and infiltrate the children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center. Guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the children of Adam at bay. But that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's... dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. You want to buy something or what?